Had he not been murdered in 1968, the civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. would have turned 86 this year. Still in the United States, every year people demonstrate in the streets against racism to honor his legacy. In Washington, D.C. this year, activists blocked major streets of the city and they stopped traffic to draw attention to the very issues that he fought for, issues that persist today in the United States. The fight against racism remains a significant issue nowadays. With temperatures at minus two degrees Celsius, these activists started to arrive to this park even before dawn. We're here today, uh, well, we picked the specific day because it's MLK's birthday, so we're honoring his legacy. They are part of the resistance and solidarity movement. After taking part in the demonstrations against the grand jury's decision over Michael Brown's case in Ferguson. It's sad to say, but we still have racism being practiced in America, and it's hurting our children. An Afro-American is killed every 28 hours by a police officer in the United States. According to these activists, this situation is due to the increasing militarization of the American police forces. So jump outs are essentially where a small number of police and unmarked cars are jumping out on individuals uh, based on racially biased descriptions, stopping them and demanding that they be searched. Uh, it's a way that's really an end run around people's constitutional rights. They march during rush hour, thus blocking busy streets and catching the attention of every pedestrian. I am going to work after this and the reason I'm here is the reason that um, we've all come out here uh, for several days in the past couple of months um, and it's really just to lend a voice to this movement and draw some attention to the really serious deadly issues that black Americans, especially black poor Americans, are facing in this country. According to several surveys, the American capital is one of the 21 American cities with highest levels of racial segregation. I have a dream, one dream, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This part of one of the most famous speeches by Martin Luther King, and as these demonstrators say, they keep dreaming because that dream has not become true. Francesca Manuele, Washington DC, Telesur.